Hello everyone, I'm Antom64. And I'm THD. And welcome, at long last, to the Hellfire Comms playthrough of Kingdom Hearts RE Chain of Memories. You can call it Re Chain of Memories, but the meaning is the same. You may be wondering <coughs> why we're doing this after so long. And it's that I didn't really want to play 358 over two days. I don't really care for the gameplay. And uh, while we're not playing RE Coded, well, that's because the story is even more basic <laughs> than this. It's basically just digital Sora going through the world again, and there's some bugs and shit. But uh, Chain of Memories is um, kind of pivotal in order to bridge Kingdom Hearts 1 to 2, and it's always the one we've kind of avoided. So I figured we'd do the remake of the game. We're playing the version on Kingdom Hearts 1.5, which was uh, given to me by a mate of mine named Matt, so shout out to you, by the way. You guys know my history, obviously, with Kingdom Hearts and how I've tended to be very uh, mm, cynical yeah. about it. But I will tell you that uh, I eagerly played um, Kingdom Hearts Shade of Memories when it first came out on the Game Boy Advance. This is a redo of it that was originally released with the uh, Japanese version of Final Mix. Uh, became available... Uh, in the U.S. or Europe or whatever, as a standalone budget title for PS2. Like I said, this was back when uh, I was still really into Kingdom Hearts, and I was really excited the idea of these side games. And the game, side game, side game. Whatever you may feel about that. Sorry, that's my trigger. All the games, yes, even the, the DS ones, are part of the main canon. There is no such thing as a side game. It doesn't matter if it's on a handheld, okay? Anyway. I'm done now. Uh, good. I hope you're done. <laughs> even though I have felt the things I have felt about Kingdom Hearts for a long while now, uh -huh. I still have some good feelings about Chain of Memories. It still holds that original, you know, nostalgic and kind of atmosphere uh, of yeah, yeah. Kingdom Hearts 1 because it came directly after that. The bullshit was starting to go into motion but it wasn't as prevalent. The game is still largely a retread but it does have some nice main story elements I do like and you know I may bounce back and forth here and there about how I actually feel about this game uh, you know over throughout the playthrough but as a whole I don't hate it as much which is probably the best you're going to get out of me. Chain of Memories, at its core, we'll be discussing aspects of the original and the remake. Chain of Memories, at its core, is sort of a cross between an RPG and a card collecting game. Think Pokemon meets, well, Pokemon trading card game, really. Oh, good. While you move about like in Kingdom Hearts 1 here, uh, you use cards to battle, cards to move through the world you'll be exploring. They are your life, your everything. Respect the cards. Be the cards. Well, uh, don't really be the cards. That doesn't really work out. You know how much they pay you for... Hallmark green cards, not a lot. Do you know what the uh, original, like, kind of working title for uh, Chain of Memories, the GBA game, was? Lost Memories. Yes, yes, indeed. Yeah, it's totally like I didn't get that from somewhere else. If you know anything about the story of the final game, you'll know that they didn't really change the concept much. Uh, the story framing of memories being super important and, of course, powerful is still here. It's just a tad revised, is all. Uh, on the development side of things, the original GBA game was developed by a company called Jupiter, with help from Square Enix, of course. Jupiter would also help co-develop a Nintendo DS game, whose gameplay was kind of, sort of, maybe inspired by Chain of Memories, and that game is The World Ends With You. Oh, I thought you were going to let me answer that, because <laughs> I totally knew that. No, you took my one thing before, fucker, so I'm stealing yours now. Alright. Uh, this obviously is uh, one of the final scenes in the original Kingdom Hearts, so... Uh, Nice to have it here to properly bridge the first game to its sequel. But wow, that's weird. Thinking about like the first Kingdom Hearts sequel, seeing as there's so many now. Yeah, definitely. They're not all side games after all. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, they had a, like a really low res version of this video right here. Uh, actually, play on the uh, Game Boy Advance. And at the time, I was really kind of hyped because uh, <laughs> yeah. back then, you know, this was the Game Boy Advance. It it had 3D potential, and it could render this kind of stuff, but it wasn't obviously in the best quality. Yeah. And here, obviously, it's not voiced in the GBA version. That's what I was talking about, like, atmosphere-wise. Like, the words were coming out, you, see, you saw the subtitles, but you didn't hear any voice coming from under the hood. But yeah, Helldragon's right. They use, like... <sighs> it's probably a bit mean to say, like, super compressed cutscenes. It was a GBA game, after all. You didn't see no fucking Sora bouncing about in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, that's for sure. That's true, although that would have been kind of neat. Just put turrets 
everywhere. I don't give a shit if they defy the laws of gravity. Put them everywhere. On the front door. Put them on that island to the side. We don't even own it. I wanted to see her put that down and goes, Okay, I will build this for $10 million. Now, this is important. And if you have not played any of the, the other Kingdom Hearts games or are planning to... I will tell you now, we will be discussing spoilers for the other games, like not super in-depth, and I'm not going to reveal super big ones about like Chain of Memories as we go through the story. I'll try and hit those points as we come across them. But uh, I have stuff to say about the castle we're going into now, but maybe I'll leave that until near the end of Sora's story. Now let's see if this house will give us trick-or-treats before we go home for the night. Uh, it's probably just like dime bars and shit. I'm always remembering, like, the lame trick-or-treat houses where they give you, like, apples. Nobody fucking cared about them. I don't know why they continue to do it year after year when clearly nobody liked it. Oh, I got a heartless. <laughs> I got a rock heartless. Do they have those? They probably do. Oh, it's so weird looking at this castle now, knowing how it came into being. That's true. Like, that, that kind of explanation for it really kind of soured me on it even more, I have to admit. It's still a kind of mysterious structure, though, and um, again, it's a kind of wishy-washy kind of descriptive, but I find Chain of Memories, and especially the original one, where there's, like, no voice work in the cutscenes or just dialogue outside of, like, stock voice loops, to be a very atmospheric kind of game. Oh, yeah, definitely, and uh, like I said before, that's what I really liked uh, about this game, and even the remake still kind of carries a bit of that across, although not as much as the original, I think. Still have no idea why they gave them their original clothes back for Donald and Goofy, and then later on they get their Kingdom Hearts clothes back, and then they never return in these normal ones. It's just like, there's no reason for it. Even if it was like their casual wear, you know, why would they just assume it for a little bit and then forget it? I don't know. It's weird, because they have their, like, knight's clothes, or knight's and mage clothes in the first cutscene of Kingdom Hearts 1 where they appear. Then they get, like, their battle attire, and now they have casual wear. I don't even know anymore. It's time travel, I know you don't like that. Ugh. I'm not just saying that so I can actually be in this scene. That's true, Jimny is like, in fucking very little of these. I honestly keep forgetting he's in Kingdom Hearts, I do. He just hangs out inside Sora's hood, it's fine. Yeah, that's probably what he does. I I'm not sure that's the best place to hang, but it's there. <laughs> I'm not scared of doors, just what's behind them. Look, just don't climb a stairway to heaven is what I'm trying to say. And then... What? Are you the hired help? Oh, Alright, I'll show you where the brooms are. I'd like to pretend I'd close that shit with my mind, but really it was on like a catch. No, that's clearly not a... You know what, you're just stupid, Donald. I'd like to point out that the only human-shaped heartless they came across in the first game was Anson. Thundercats, ho! Yeah. <laughs> it's not working, you dumbass sailor man. Oh no, is what is what's happening what I think is happening? You know exactly what this means. I should think it's obvious. But I'm going to tell you anyway. The moment you set foot in this castle. You forgot every spell and every ability you ever knew. I, that's right, I just metroided your ass. Oh, that sucks. And toilet training is going to be especially bad if we forgot how to do that. And that's why the memory altering spells in Harry Potter is known as Obliviate. Ah, oh, there you go. He's really just Gildroy Lockhart and he's super pissed. <laughs> yeah, Gildroy Lockhart is part of Organization 13. I wouldn't be surprised. Not ones that you care about, just ones that you miss. Riku! You mean Riku's here? D yeah, sure, whatever, alright. Yes, Riku's here, I suppose. If it will help us manipulate you faster, then yes, your boyfriend's here. Hey! He's got great pecs for a hooded guy. Why, thank you. <laughs> I scanned your mind, the hidden memories you don't want anyone to know about. And out of them, I created a little trinket for you. What'd you do? I merely sampled your memory. Yes, I already said that. I gave you a hickey, guess where? <laughs> right on this card. Ew. I play an embarrassing spot on your neck in attack position. Take this. 
The Kingdom Hearts trading card game now available. There was a trading card game, uh, by the way. It yes, wasn't was. very successful, but it existed. There's uh, also a manga as well. I'm not sure if that completed, but I have read a bit of it, and it is actually quite funny. Actually, all the Kingdom Hearts mangas have a high level of humor in them. Proceed. I, I actually, I've read some of it myself, and it's not bad, definitely. Like, yeah. It's actually a pretty good telling of the story. To claim a new, only to lose. There's a door! Use it! Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> oh, so edgy. They try so fucking hard to make the organization so cool, and it fails every single time. I like the organization, but uh, then again, I've always liked, like, themed villains. Like, you have Fire Guy, you have Volcano Guy. There's a little bit of a conflict there, since they're basically the same element. But it's like that uh, one episode of, um... I forget, the Japanese version of Dio Charge. It's like, you've got Blue, Cyan, and Navy all in the same team. That's way too much blue. That's true. That's like, uh, that's a, uh, that's an overload of blue. You want to back it up there. <laughs> Not to mention Grey and Silver is basically the same thing. So yeah, we get world cards. This is how we'll be progressing through the game. We don't really have much to uh, explain in the way of uh, the cards right now. I don't know why there's five there. Put that in a bit too soon. I guess they just wanted to reuse the animation. You'll notice that's a recurring trend in Re-Chain of Memories. Loading. Loading. Still loading. Well, hold on, I gotta prepare the first step of this exciting adventure. This can't be right, I'm in Assassin's Creed. Oh, back here again? Oh, no. It's not even the cool one with the post office from 3D. Okay, you, do you don't need to keep doing that. It's not mysterious, it's annoying. Yeah, yeah, I'm just kinda, I'm getting up there right now. Do you even have a walking animation? I think he does. Oh, well. We, I guess you could say we lost them. I just forgot about them, honestly. <laughs> yeah, just like you forget about Gen and Jiminy being in the game. Oh, we're off getting a coffee. You want one? I should think it's <laughs> obvious. I hate this guy. Yes, welcome to RNG Hell. I'm just gonna like say this right off the bat. Why the fuck was Luxor not the master of Castle Oblivion? Yeah, that makes no sense. He would have been perfect for this, but I don't know. You'll notice that we question a lot of Namora's ideas. Well, it's not just Namora. He has like a team of writers with him. That's something I've been meaning to address since the last time we bashed. Well, they're Namora. all fuck ups. How about that? <laughs> okay, they could be fuck ups together instead of fuck ups singularly. I have to admit, I didn't really use the friend cards that much, and I probably should have, but I, I, I kind of threw a lot of, um, when I was playing the original version of uh, Chain of Memories, I kind of aggroed my way through, and I didn't really bother to pick them up, and I was mostly focusing on Keyblade action, heals, things like that. See, the thing with the cards in RE Chain of Memories is that um, you basically use them for battling, so if you try and spam them like you would normally attack in Kingdom Hearts 1, you're probably going to have a, b a bad time. You've really got to, like, sense the flow of battle and use the correct cards. And I'll, I'll explain this as simply as I can. Say you encountered, like, a shadow, you know, the basic Harless. It has a four. All you have is three, two cards. You can throw twos at him as much as you want, but they're just going to keep bouncing off, and his four will break through your attacks. He may not be able to hit you, but he'll still break through your attack and leave you vulnerable. However, if you combine all three of your two cards into what's known as a slight, or a slate, I say slight because it's like, you know, slight of hand, and I'm sure I'll bring up the pronunciation issue again in a later part, you will have six overall. It will combine all the twos together, and then you can break through its attack. Yeah, the big part of the game is uh, understanding what your numbers mean, uh, breaking attacks, uh, you know, being more ponderous and careful, uh, with the combat, it's a lot slower pace like Kingdom Hearts has tended to be. Uh, like, at least in the beginning, before it became more high-octane action. So you definitely want to play a bit more defensive this time around. I don't need cards to block your pathetic attacks, Keyblade Master. Huh, huh, nothing, nothing personal. Huh, nothing Stop personal. Stop it. <laughs> ah, the reload system. This was fun in the middle of really obnoxious bosses. I mean, I understand why it's there, but still. It's a buffer, I guess. How does this work, though? Come on... There we go! No whammy, no whammy, stop! It's literally the heart of the cards. 
Oh, yeah, now that you mention that, that's definitely what it is. I like to imagine, and this is just a joke that I've been preparing for years, that uh, they came up with uh, Ari Chain of Memories when Namora was replying to an email about the GBA original. <laughs> Ari Chain of Memories. <laughs> Say. That sounds good. So he's basically telling you here, don't spam him, you idiot. You can cycle to the right, you can cycle to the left. Let's do the cycle again. I hope I'm not boring you, Keyblade <laughs> Master. It's nothing personnel, if I do. Man, you're just really going for the edgy crowd, aren't you? That's what they tried to do, it didn't work. And if you press select, you have sort of a secondary deck where enemy cards like to hang out. They give you, like, special uh, passive attributes, I guess, as long as they last. Well, hopefully, it's a good thing they gave you cards to work with anyway, as opposed to just giving you a deck of zero cards and telling you to suck it up and tough it out, tough guy. Kind of like a basic deck, a starter deck. Processing exciting card action. There's real menacing music for what's going to amount to fucking anime card games. Were you blinded by the light? Take off like a deuce in the roller in the night? We were transported to DreamWorks, so you have no idea how annoying it is to try and find your way out of B-movie. <laughs> Everybody makes this face, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Default face. Oh, I've not missed Default face. I don't know, I kind of missed it a little bit just because it's such an easily riffable topic. Were you messing with their clothes? I should think that was obvious. I really don't like you. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm off to get more gains. Now obviously, in the original, the justification like, gameplay-wise, for Dawn and Goofy not being able to travel with Sora, is that the GBA would probably explode if they were on screen at the same time. So, here it just says, eh. Eh, flaying the realms wildly. I can wield a keyblade. Who says I can't? Xehanort's off in the distance. You shit! Now, as I mentioned uh, in the 2015 end of year review video thing. For every day we upload, like part of an RPG playthrough, there will be two parts, except for Friday. So two on Monday, two on Wednesday, one on Friday, and we're also uploading on weekends. So two on Saturday and two on Sunday. So roughly around nine parts overall per week. So we'll see you this afternoon for part two of Kingdom Hearts RE: Chain of Memories. See you then.